Marcos. Kenya still faces an up, um, uphill task in getting rid of slums amid finding that it has about 500 slums within its borders. This was a revelation by Transport and Housing CS James Masharia, coming hot on the heels of the first UN Habitat General Assembly slated to take place in Nairobi from 27th to 31st May. Makna Maso has that story. Nairobi will play host to the first UN Habitat General Assembly, which is expected to net the city about 3,000 delegates, including heads of state. Uh, in just 12 days' time, the opening of the very first UN Habitat Assembly. And in this assembly is the universal meaning that all 193 member states of the United Nations are invited to Nairobi. But while Kenya is proud to play the welcoming host, on its own it faces a Herculean task in tackling mushrooming of slums across its landscape. According to Transport, Housing and Infrastructure CS James Masharia, Kenya faces a cumulative housing deficit of at least 2 million housing units. We identified not less than 488 slums in this country. Hmm? You can imagine. You know, Nairobi, Mombasa, Kisumu, Nyeri, wherever mm -hmm. you go, there are slums. Mm -hmm. The summit comes in the wake of the Kenyan government attempting to provide what it calls affordable housing through funding from the housing levy. This falls squarely in the government's Big Four development agenda, but the levy has drawn criticism and even court cases. Wali consult nani? Na hizo nyumba, nana aliwambia tuataka kujenge wa nyumba? Wange tu consult tu munge wambia tunataka nini? You got many, many of our Kenyans living in slums. You know, the biggest slum in Africa is here in Kibera. You know, we have Madare, we have other places. But by pulling together our funds, we are able to mitigate the expansion of these slums. President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to grace the official opening of the assembly at the UN complex in Gigiri, Nairobi, where experts and stakeholders in housing, investors and government officials from 193 UN member states are expected to attend.